Hello guys, we are going to see the form designer, how to deal with UiPath form designer we are going to see. So this form designer generally is an activity called create form. Okay, so when you drag and drop you will find it. But the problem is you will not have this particular activity create form if you have not installed the package. So when I am highlighting if you notice in the box it says this is a part of uipath.form.activities okay for that what i'm going to do i'll click on manage packages and here i'm going to type uipath.form.activities okay so this is the one you have to highlight and install it okay so i have already done it so install and hit on save that way the package will get installed and you will be able to if you type create form you will be able to get this particular activity so drag and drop okay so once you have done that let me show you what is this and how to work with this so for example when i click on open form designer right so the moment i hit on open form designer this is again if you have worked on google forms uh, you must be knowing so this is how i'll be able to design my form for example here i'll be using two different fields let's say name where it will be asking the name of the uh, user and let's say I'm going to use another field where I'll be asking, let's say, company. Okay, so there are so many things that could be done here. But here I am going to stick to the topic as, as to how do you deal with UI path form designer. Okay, so let me show you how, how it works. Uh, so once you do this, hit on save. All right, so once it is saved, close it. All right, so now your form is designed, let's say. All right, so, so the form has been designed. After that, if you scroll down on the right hand side, there is something called output. And this is the field, form fields output data, which has the JSON data output passed from the form fields. Okay, so JSON data. So when you hear JSON, uh, you'll be slightly confused what it is and how to use it. So let me give you a brief introduction as to what it is. So this is a file format. Okay, this is a file format which stores the data. So for example, if you have to uh, write a, a date or email or a message to somebody, right? So you use a language, isn't it? Let's say English language you are using and then that data, once you have typed, it has to transfer from your mobile phone to somebody else's mobile phone from your uh, laptop it has to transfer to some other so there are various format being used so this is one of the data format where generally used for um, you know, almost all different programming languages they will be using the json format and uipath is one of that where the data format which is a human readable text i mean you can read that for example if you google it you will find lot many examples if you open any one of the example let's say okay so if you highlight uh, any of the example so this is how it, it is right the customer track track number and all of this details small small for example link link so this becomes a tag and this becomes the value link the value is so and so picture the value is so and so name the value is so and so so similar way you can go through multiple such examples available on google so these are the json format okay so json format is more of a data format which has a tag and which has a value to it okay so here what i'm going to do let me show you that uh, in example as to what is that so the moment i'll be uh, running this form okay so it is going to ask me those two uh, things that i have designed in the form so what are those two things name and company name the moment i enter name right and the company name let's say and i hit on submit what happens this data gets stored in a json format please excuse me for this um, now uh, the json format data i wanted to see that how it appears right so what i do here in the form field output just just say control plus k and simply say output okay uh, or any any uh, so this is a user input right so i'm saying user input 
okay some variable you type so what happens with this variable i want to see what kind of data comes in okay so to utilize this variable data whatever is customer entering and you are storing that into a variable to utilize this data you need something called deserialize the json so the json file will have so much of data you want to deserialize them so that you can uh, pick specific data what you need okay so to do that you need this activity again deserial serial serialize json so this is part of ui path web api dot activities okay again you have to install this package if you do not see this activity go to manage packages once again and here you type again highlight all packages okay highlight all packages and here you should type ui path dot web dot activities okay so this is the one you will get uipath dot web dot activities if you highlight and install and save okay so while you are searching packages remember to click on all packages and try to search for it getting it all right so once you have installed and saved and installed it you should be able to find this activity so i'll be dragging and drop this activity into do field now here what i'm going to do the particular output i stored called user input i am going to make that as an input here okay that output becomes input for this activity so here what i'm going to do here i'm going to simply say the input sorry here okay json string so the json string is user input clear so once i have this input i wanted to see what kind of data it contains so what i'm going to do control plus k and i'll simply say output okay this is the variable through which i'll be able to see what kind of data it has so for this to see that just to understand how it works I'm going to use another activity called right line and here I'm simply going to say output dot to string so that the JSON data dot to string done now let's see what kind of data comes as an output okay we will see that so once we understand that particular structure then we will get slightly more detail into it so let me run it and show it to you Alright, so the very first thing is it should open the form, right? The form I have designed. So you can see it has opened the form. Alright, so it is asking two things. So let me enter my name and the company name, let's say UiPath Expo Hub and hit on submit. Alright, so the moment I do this, what is happening? Did you see how the JSON format is coming? Name, this is the tag and this is your value. So tag value. So like that submit and true. So I have clicked on submit. So it is becoming true. So like that the entire human readable format is available. So this is a JSON format. Now I wanted to utilize this data. Let's say out of the entire data being entered by the customer. I want to see what is the name. Okay. I want to play with only one data. Okay. Let's set the name. So how do I utilize that name? right that is a question so one thing you should remember the way the tag is written these are case sensitive so let's say name it's later written in small right name so exactly the same way i should use it okay so let me show you how do i utilize a specific data out of the entire json uh, data string so here what i'm going to do in the type argument of this deserialization uh, json uh, activity i wanted to change the type argument okay so what i want here to utilize a specific data i want a dictionary kind of a data type so how do you get the dictionary type of data uh, type is you click on browse for types okay and here this is a very very important thing that should name remember the name called system dot collection dot generic okay system dot collections okay this is s collections dot generic okay so if you type uh, you'll get this so expand this system dot collection dot generic and here you will have the dictionary so dictionary means what so if you if you saw the json there was a tag and there was a value right so same way the tag is again a string and the value is also a string type so i'm going to make it string string so there are two different type of data one tag and the value tag and value so that's why i'm using a dictionary done click on ok and here what you do previously you have created this output no just change this data type to the dictionary type done so that way the type arg argument whatever you have specified according to that the output variable also of the same type done 
now i want to see specific data so what i'm going to do here i'll simply say the variable name right so output and here in the output let me show it in a bigger screen output okay so now here in the output what i'm going to do i'll put bracket and there are two different tags company name and the name right so I, this time i'm going to use only name let's say so just type name name and ensure it is not capital okay the way it is there um, in the uh, json output just now used okay the same way you have to write it done and click on okay the moment i do this let me run this so last time if you compare our output right our output was name rakesh and everything was coming i don't want everything i wanted to use only specific data so just by writing a dictionary like this wherever in my workflow i wanted to use i will be able to use it in this way so let me run it and show it to you okay so this time let me enter a different uh, data in the form let's say okay so the google the sorry the U, ui path form will come up now in the ui path form it's asking me two different things let's say let me enter some other name and ui path expo hub and submit okay so the moment i submit this what is happening if you saw the output right now i am able to only get to what i need so i got jays okay similar way let's say you want to have the company name so you have to write in the same format okay um, so how the company name was written so company name okay no there was no space so same thing you will be writing it over here let me try this okay if there is some problem the output is not coming there is an error coming over here that means you have written something wrong okay uh, either the capital letter upper case lower case you have to check properly so here um, let's say ramesh and uh, ui path expo hub okay and hit on submit so i want the company name now right so let's see the output is coming so here the given key was not present in the dictionary so that means something i made it wrong so i i did not write it properly so here how do i correct this if this error comes very simple so click on stop and what you do just try to understand how that the data was there so this is one of the way so what i'm going to do i'm going to put it back to the general format newton dot json uh, newtonsoft.json and then here i will make the output data type to the same one okay again i'm putting it back so that i can see the exact way it was written so i can correct my mistake so let me delete this and here i simply use the output dot to string okay to string okay so now let's see how this one works so so that i can capture it properly how the way it was written i should be able to capture it okay now it should it should come in the same format so let me type some name ui path expo hub and submit so let's see what mistake we have done while writing that so go to the output here c c was small okay i written a capital so c small n so the way it is you have to write the same way so that was the mistake so let's correct that and see if it is working okay so now auto hide okay so now let's see how do i make it so what i'm going to do again change the data type to dictionary and even the variable type i am going to change it to dictionary okay done once i do all of that what i am going to do here i am going to change it so here instead of to string i want a specific data right so output in bracket you have to write in the same way so the way it was written right so see company name so let's verify that company name right the same thing you have to see if you have written in the same way so company name okay looks correct so now let's run it and i should be able to come out of that error all right okay so let it prompt okay so now the form has come 
let me enter some name okay submit so i should be able to see the company name now do you see the company name has come as the output so i hope you have a hang of how to use the json uh, format and how to use or how to deal with ui path form designer you must have gotten uh, knowledge so there is a complete chapter around this we will come up but again this is a uh, introduction uh, for you to know that there is something available and how to utilize this okay so this will be very very helpful thank you very much please do subscribe to our channel please do like all the videos that you're watching guys this is my kind request please do watch so that the effort that we put to bring forward this knowledge uh, that also helps us just by your one like thank you very much you guys have a great day